Welcome back. So just some quick rapid fire on some records that I recently bought. I've been on a little bit of a binge and a lot of uh, records that were ordered uh, a while back have just recently arrived. Um, so I'm just gonna cover the new stuff. Then I'm gonna talk about my record store day wish list. Try to keep this under 10 minutes if it's possible. Uh, and I know I have you know, I, I said I was going to do a video on uh, my biggest year in music, which I intend to do over the Thanksgiving holiday. I've only dragged my feet because I have to pull all the records from that year uh, that sort of made up um, my, if it's not my, my favorite year, certainly near the top. It's one that I often still go back and listen to records from. Uh, so that's coming. The mental health one, um, I'm just going to be honest, it's a it's a very personal subject, so it's taking me a little bit longer than I expected. Uh, I said I would do it in November. I still hope to do so, and I hope that I get inspired over the over the break to to put that together. So, um, that's something I just can't guarantee, just given the personal nature of it. And uh, I'm sure you all understand. <laughs> but my intent is is to do that two part series at some point, hopefully soon. Uh, so, real quick. These have come from all different places, visiting record stores um, and uh, stuff that I had ordered, uh, stuff from Vinyl Me Please, but I'm going to go through real fast. I've always wanted this and I finally found it for only 37 bucks. The Velvet Underground box set on CD uh, has the, the four classic records. I am going to open this this weekend. I'm back into CDs, no surprise. I mean, I got CDs everywhere, but... Uh, I listen to them a lot now. Um, I just bought the, the new Jason Isbell record, Weaker Than, Weaker Than, so that's a band, uh, Weather Vanes uh, on CD. So any album that I really, really love, new or old, I'm trying to, if I don't already, acquire it on CD. Had never seen this, but picked it up. Neil Young with Crazy Horse, Budokan, uh, 1976. Neil's just on the Neil Young archives, releasing tons of stuff. Can't can't wait to listen to that. This I got. I couldn't believe I found this. I saw this in a used bin, um, maybe a week ago, and I was like, "That looks familiar." And then I, I'm reading the Peter Jesperson book, what's it called, Euphoric Recall, and this is referenced. <laughs> so I went back to the record store, and they still had it. Uh, so it's like a twin tone Minneapolis thing. So really excited to have that. Listened to this digitally and really liked it. The new Kurt Vile, it says it's an EP, but there are like 50 songs, six songs. Uh, and I know digitally, Passenger Side, he covers Wilco's Passenger Side. It looks like that's not on the vinyl copy. Uh, so back to Moon Beach, new Kurt Vile EP. Dylan Budokan, uh, 1978. Got the two LP. Uh, gatefold. I have to have everything Dylan. I think for, if I were to look at the remainder of my life, I will probably listen to Bob Dylan the most. I just, I feel like I'm just getting started. Like, and it, what a treasure of, of records and songs and boot, or the bootleg series. And God, it's just all amazing stuff. Uh, another Neil Young record. Neil puts them out. I'll buy them. Uh, Somewhere Under the Rainbow with the Santa Monica Flyers, November 5th, 1973. That is almost exactly the day I was born. I'm not going to tell you the exact date, some of you know. Uh, which means that I recently hit the 5-0. I'm actually going out to celebrate with a friend tonight. A little bit delayed. I'm not a birthday or holiday person. I'm sure I've shared that. But uh, one of my dearest friends, we're going out for a good dinner tonight. Um, so... It's weird to think that I was not here yet, but almost. Uh, that Neil Young record. This I've been loving. The Cat Power Sings Dylan, 1966 Royal Albert Hall. Uh, sh I think it's beautiful. Pitchfork gave it like a 7.5 or something. Uh, I would say that when you get near the end, it starts to get, it starts to drag a little bit or like halfway through. But the first side, She Belongs to Me, Fourth Time Around, Visions of Johanna, It's All Over Now, Baby Blue. Tremendous job by Cat Power. I hope I get to see that show. Uh, this was a mistake order. So if somebody in the, in the comments wants to tell me what this is, I'd appreciate it. Ray Barreto Acid. 
I did not change my Vinyl Me Please order, and I ended up with this. Let me know. I'll look it up. Uh, when I saw Joe Pernice in San Jose recently, Backyard uh, show, it was phenomenal. I bought Discover a Lovelier You, which I already have on vinyl, and Joe signed it. He is such a charming guy. I just such a sweet, sweet man. I hope I get to see him again uh, in, a, in a, a setting like that. And then I also bought his cover record of Barry Manilow. Uh, called Could It Be Magic. Bought that at the Backyard Show as well. Uh, I've been, I bought Josh, the Joshua Tree. I mean, I like this record. I'm not a big U2 fan. Obviously the whole thing going on in Vegas sort of inspired me to, to explore them. And I bought their other classic record, Octoon Baby. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Octoon Baby. I'm going really fast. This I was really excited about, the Canals Ring. Uh, for I think it's the first time on vinyl. Uh, 7475 is, is a song that one of the songs I played most in college. Uh, came out in 1993. So really excited to have that. Um, Velvet Underground. This is a, a version that I'd never seen. It's from one, another one of my local record stores. Uh, it says 1960. I don't know if this is a reissue or original. It's 30 bucks. I'm going to play it tonight. The Beatles, Red and Blue. I had to get this, the box set. Uh, it was pricey, but I'm a Beatles completist, just like I'm a Dylan and Wilco completist. And now a Jason Isbell completist. Got the classic black vinyl uh, of Southeastern. This is my favorite record from the last 10 years. It came out in 2013. So just making it to the 10 year mark. Slent Spiderland, one of my favorite records of all time, reissued. Uh, on purple vinyl. Tremendous, tremendous record. Bought this and it had so much personal uh, sort of connection. This is an original uh, Born in the USA from 1985. That's when Born in the USA came out. 1984. Why do I think? Because the tour was 84, 85. And it still has a sticker on it. If you can see it, Tower Records 599. So it's sealed. I'm gonna put this probably in a frame. It's just, you know, I've told, I've shared many times, I saw Bruce that summer and it changed my life. Nico Case, I had no idea that she had like a greatest hits out. I love Nico Case. It's called Wild Creatures. Uh, I think it came out last year. I am gonna try to see her on her upcoming tour. The Vinyl Me Please version of Southeastern, as I said, I'm a Jason Isbell completist and this record I'll have a hundred copies if they make them because I love the record so much. Uh, two more. Also Vinyl Me Please, Sweet Revenge, uh, John Prime. Thrilled to have this, one of my favorite Vinyl Me Please releases in some time. And the Kronos Quartet uh, performs Philip Class. I have two copies of this. Ordered it from two different places. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so I will be doing a giveaway uh, in my next video for a copy of this. So if you're interested I don't know, comment or text me or something, and we'll do something so that uh, I can get that copy off the shelves and into somebody else's home. Uh, so just real quick, what I'm looking for on Record Store Day, I have eight titles here that are on my short list. The Bottle Rockets, self-titled, uh, that is my number one. I, I think I've told, I know I've, I, how many times do I say I think I've told this story in each video? 50? Probably about 50. Uh, Lane and I were in St. Louis uh, researching our Uncle Tupelo book, and we went into uh, a record store, and they were playing this record, the first Bottle Rockets record on CD, and they only had one copy, and I remember Lane got it. <laughs> and we listened to it endlessly. I eventually ordered it. Remember Parasol? There's like a mail order CD uh, company. I think I ordered it from either them or Miles of Music, two companies that I used to order a lot of stuff from. Um, so that's a must have. I'll go onto eBay if I have to, as long as it's you know somewhat reasonable. Um, I need that record. Uh, De La Soul, three feet high, seven inch box set. Curious to see what that is. It's a possibility. Uh, Justin Towns Earl's Yuma. I think that's the only Justin Towns Earl vinyl release that I don't have. Uh, so hoping to get that um, on uh, Record Store Day. The Faces Live at the BBC, 1971 to 73. Really excited about that one. 
Flaming Lips Live at the Paradise in Boston, 2002. If I had gone to college a few, a few years later, I went to college in Boston. I probably would have been at that show. I've been to the Paradise so many times, probably 30 or 40 times during college. Saw Steve Earle there, saw Sunvolt there, saw Wilco there, uh, Gilliam Welch, tons of shows um, back in the 90s. Uh, Grateful Dead, Fillmore West, 1969, to round out my Grateful Dead box sets. Graham Parsons Live at the Bijou Cafe, 1973, and the Kevin Kinney Tribute, which looks really, really cool. Um, th that's my short list. Uh, that's a long short list. But I originally thought there were like one or two titles I was excited about on Record Store Day, but there's actually quite a few. I did that in almost under 10 minutes, under 11. Thanks for stopping by. More videos will come over the Thanksgiving Day weekend. Uh, I hope you enjoy the holiday. I hope you are all well. And with three seconds left, take care.